Hey guys, and happy hashtag Motivation Monday. Hope everyone is coming off of their holiday and detoxing. And Nancy and I were cleansing today after all the meals. There, there wasn't just one, there was multiple Thanksgiving meals. We went back to my mom's the next night for leftovers, but someone's got to eat the food. So anyway, Great to see you guys jumping on, and as always, say hi and where you're coming in from. Hey, Andy. Hi, Jane. Tag some teammates. Share this. Hi, Shannon. Hey, hey. Hi, Dana. So say hi and where you're coming in from. Tag some teammates. Share this in your networks. I haven't done one of these for a while, and I've been watching what's going on with the platforms, so I wanted to keep things very, very simple, and I know... What I have to do a better job at, and this is something that I was talking about with Nancy, is meeting people where they are. Because the plain simple fact is not everybody wants to use LinkedIn the way that I did and still do and now teach. There are people that still are comfortable and happy with using Facebook and Instagram, which is completely fine. But if that's the case, you know, I, I meet people where they are. I teach that, so I have to do as, as I teach. So what I want to do today is meet everybody where they are and go through and break down the three platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and what they're best used for, what you should be using them for. And I have two tips for each of them so you can basically move forward and, and really start getting some traction. Oh, thank you, Betsy. So um, I got news today from Audible that my book is going to be available on Audible, audible.com, in March. They haven't given me the specific date, but they're working out the details. But thank you, Betsy. I appreciate that. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Tammy. Uh, hi, Jane from snowy New York. Yeah, it's just raining here in Philly, but, you know, precipitation is precipitation. So, uh, again, if you're jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from. Tag some teammates. Share this. So, most people use Facebook and Instagram to build their network marketing business. And there is a select few that is diving into LinkedIn. But again, I'm going to meet people where they are. And I'm going to give you guys two tips for each of these platforms. So two tips for Instagram and what it's best for Facebook and LinkedIn. So if you guys are ready to dive in, type Y or yes in the chat box. And if I can hear from you guys, either on live or on the replay, what do you use most proficiently or what are you most comfortable using building your network marketing business? Are you using Instagram mostly? Are you using Facebook or LinkedIn? No combination, which one are you using most? And you know, if you're using all three, that's great, but it, are you using one more than the other? Because this is gonna help those depending upon which one you are or are not using. So, I'm going to start with Instagram. And I enjoy Instagram. I think it's great for certain things. And I, I like what they're doing. They're going to be removing all of the liking and views so people are posting more organically. So I'm going to start with Instagram first and what two things it's best for and what you can do. So number one, right now, right now, Instagram is best for social selling. Social selling. Thank you, Shannon. So Instagram is best for social selling. And it's best done not through your Instagram feed. It's not in your post. This is all an Instagram story. So social selling, letting people know about enrollment, free enrollment, or shipping, or Black Friday, this is where people are social selling, not just for network marketing, but right now, most brands, most influencers are doing their social selling on Instagram. So number one, if you're going to use Instagram, don't shy away from it run right towards it, and socially sell your product. 
you're not going to find many builders off of there. You will find consumers because that's what people are on that platform for. They are on there to consume, whether it's information, pictures, or potential products, they are on there to consume. So you want to socially sell in your Instagram story. Now, should you do that every day? That's up to you. That's, it's up to you to show your shakes and your powders and this, that, or the other, whatever you're selling. You can socially sell. It is appropriate on Instagram. That's what they want people using it for. Number two is product pushing. So still the number one no-no that people make is when I see them and I see seasoned network marketers doing this. They show a picture of themselves with their product and they put their fingers over the label thinking that's going to create curiosity. People know what you're doing. If you're going to hide your product subconsciously and consciously, people are going to think you have something to hide. So you don't want to hide behind your product. You don't want to cover the label. You show it. Here's what I drink for breakfast. Here's my pre-workout. This, And again, you're doing this through Instagram story. Instagram story is best for number one, social selling. Number two, product pushing. If people are on there, buy products. They're either going to buy it from Color Nutrition or they're going to buy it from you if you're in front of their faces. So I'm not telling you sell, 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 sell. But what I am telling you is that if you're going to use Instagram, it's not just about pretty pictures. It's not just about showing people this, that, or the other. It's about social selling. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, you could do it every day. You could do it twice a week. You could do it once a week, but you can start to read blogs and articles. And I'm telling you right now, it will tell you all the same thing that people are on Instagram to socially sell. They're there to push their products. And if you watch people's Instagram stories, that's what they're sharing. If whether they have an Etsy shop, whether they're selling clothes, whether they're, you know, they have a drop shipping company, people are using Instagram to socially sell. But don't cover your products. If you're going to sell your products, show them what it is. Now, again, tag some teammates. You can throw me some hearts, some smiley faces. Again, share this video so other people can understand. Now, so Instagram, again, best for social selling, product pushing. Now, let's move on to Facebook. What is Facebook best for? Now. Number one, Facebook is best for making it your reality TV show. So the way that people are consuming Facebook right now is they are watching people's lives. Now, the same can be said for Instagram, people watching other people's stories. But let's talk about war market. Instagram, a lot of people have different social media handles. You don't know who it is. It's it's a mix of people that you know, people that you don't know. But Facebook is traditionally your warmest market on social media. It's the one that everyone started with first before they went to Instagram. So your oldest and warmest market is going to be Facebook. And you want to make it your reality TV show. So again, if anyone watches my feed, I typically do the same thing every day. I do some inspiration in the morning. If I have a major milestone or accomplishment, I will announce it like I did today with my book going on Audible. And then I'll do Facebook Lives where I educate. I let people into my life. If people watch my Facebook over the weekend, I'm showing more of like what I'm doing, whether it's going bowling or seeing Frozen 2 or going out to dinner with Nancy. So it's your reality TV show because I'm sure some of you can relate. The way that you've been posting you'll run into someone that you haven't seen for a while off of Facebook land and they'll say, hey, and I do it too. I'll say, hey, I saw you went to the Flyers game the other day. People are watching your life. It's very, very easy to do on Facebook. So treat it like your reality TV show. Show them what products you're using. Show them how you're living your life. 
Show them what you're doing for a business. You do a mix of everything. It's your reality TV show. If you ever watch reality TV, it's never the same episode twice. It's always something different. It's always a different episode. So every day, every day on Facebook is a different day. So you should be doing something different. It shouldn't be the same thing over and over again. When you treat something like a reality TV show, you're letting people into your life, you're letting them watch what you're doing, and it really connects with them. Number two, Facebook is best for creating curiosity. Creates curiosity. So whether that means you're sharing a before and after here and there, or there, you're showing yourself going to a convention, or an online watch party, or you're, you're showing your transformation, you're showing your products, but people aren't really sure how the whole thing works, it's great at creating curiosity. Because again, if you take the mentality of Facebook being your reality TV show, when you draw people in, what are they gonna be? They're gonna be curious for the next episode. It's a way for people to binge watch your life, just like people do on Prime, just the way that they do on Netflix or, or HBO. When, when someone's curiosity is peaked, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna watch the next episode. So they're, they're gonna tune in for more. So they know tomorrow at 6 a.m., Scott's next post is going up, I'm gonna see what it's all about. I'm gonna be a part of it. So when you can create that, that curiosity and pique someone's interest from the reality TV show, they start really joining you on your journey. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, you have to use all these platforms differently. So again, on Instagram, right? On Instagram, it's best and most appropriate for social selling in your IG story. So sell, 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 sell. That's what people are doing. Do what other people are doing. Product pushing. If you look at people's Instagram stories, all they're doing is showing their products. They're showing making their shakes. They're showing this. They're showing that. Am I the only one who lost? Is everybody here? Can, if you guys can hear me, give me some emojis. Give me some thumbs. Give me some hearts. Type Y or yes in the chat box if you guys can hear me. I just want to make sure I'm coming through loud and clear. Got it. Okay. So everyone's, okay. So everyone is with me. Okay. I was just confused. Okay. Good, good, good. Perfect. Oh, okay. So guys, what you have to understand is that on Facebook, you need to make it your reality TV show, right? And then create curiosity. Now, if you could understand, if you watch what's going on, if you watch what's going on on Facebook and Instagram, if you watch what's going on on these two platforms, it's a lot of product pushing. So leading with a product, closing with a product creates happy consumers. So again, you need to have balance to your business. It's great to have happy product users, but you need to have business leads. You need to have business builders, not dabblers, not people that are in and out, not people that are curious, not people that are just sharing casually. You want people to run with. So if you want builders, type I want builders, because this is key. You can have all the consumers you want. You can show, you can do the social selling, you can do the product pushing, you can do the reality TV show, you can create the curiosity. But at the end of the day, you're having to wait for people to cross the bridge when you can just go and find people that have already crossed the bridge and they're just waiting for the opportunity. So here's the deal. LinkedIn is where you're gonna to wanna to balance out your business. So you need to be omnipresent. You should be on Facebook and Instagram, but you have to understand that LinkedIn is where business-minded leads are. So if you think about it conceptually like this, if you're making the primary part of your daily conversation the products and the secondary part of your conversation the business, so primary is products, secondary is business, how do you think people are going to treat it? They're gonna treat it 
like a secondary opportunity because you have to understand network marketing is an emotionally charged business. So if you're emotionally primarily leading with the product and saying, oh, by the way, I have a great business opportunity if you like the products, people are going to treat that business like an oh, by the way statement. Well, if Sandy's not talking about the business first and she's talking about the product and the business later, then I guess that's what I have to do. But if you go onto LinkedIn and you do the opposite, if you make the business primary and the product secondary, where if someone starts the business, they can't begin until they consume the product, now you have someone that has said, yes, business first, it's sitting right here, but they know they have to consume the product. So you're gonna find business-minded leads on LinkedIn. That's where you want. If that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box or some thumbs, smiley faces and, faces and hearts. But guys, share this with your teams. Share this in your private pages. Tag some teammates. For I know that you guys have people that are struggling in their business right now and they're thinking of quitting, whether they're saying it to you or not. This could really help them. Tag them. Share this. So the other thing is this. LinkedIn leads to more residual business growth. So if you want more residual business growth, type I do. If you want more residual business growth, type I do. Because here's the deal. Consumers just consume. That's it. Now, a lot of them will be, they will continue to share and and enjoy and consume products, but that's my, that, that might be all they do. But product users are also the first ones to stop because they have no skin in the game. So it is, theoretically, I don't care how good your compensation plan is, I don't care how many bonuses are coded and structured, if you don't have depth in your network marketing business is if you don't have people building underneath you, underneath them, underneath them, underneath them, you cannot create residual business growth. Residual income comes from other people working together with a like-minded goal. Consumers just consume, they're not sharing it, they're not enrolling anybody. So the fact is, is that you need to have a balanced network marketing business. Is it called a network marketing product share? No, it's called network a network marketing business. Are you a business builder or are you a consumer sharer? No, you're a business builder. You have to stand firm in what you believe in. You have to stand firm in what you want to achieve. And you do need a balanced business between Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So again, you can socially sell all you want on Instagram story. You can let people into your re reality TV show all you want on Facebook. But if that is leading to no business first conversations, I want you guys to start realizing that it's not dirty, it's not disgusting, it's not gross, it's not wrong to lead with the business first. No matter what your uplines are telling you or saying at your conventions, you know, they're coming across the stage and they're saying, I said yes to this product and it's amazing. And then all of a sudden I just talked to a couple of people at barbecues and I have 30,000 people underneath me and I'm making $10,000 a week. It doesn't happen that way. You have to understand if someone's been in network marketing for a long time, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're absolutely looking for builders because that they're, they're a business person. They're businessmen, they're businesswomen. They know in order to create more residual income, they need to find more business people. They don't wanna bother with the consumers. They're happy to bless people with the products, but I can guarantee you the business builders are spending all their time with the other business builders who are spending all the other time with the business builders. I spoke to someone today and they're like, if I have one more person reaching out to me because they have diarrhea, they're throwing up, she goes, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm right with them. That drives you crazy. This is a business. You guys have to start treating it like one. So you do have to have an equal balance between your consumers and your builders, and you are more likely going to get builders 
on LinkedIn. That's what it's built for. It has the right demographic of people that are 30 to 55 that make $100,000 a year or more, and you're allowed 30,000 connections. I just eclipsed 27,000 connections in three years. You can't even do that on Facebook. And on Instagram, you don't know how many people have real accounts and how many people have fake accounts. So guys, if you're ready to have a more balanced business, type in, I am ready. Or give me some hearts and thumbs and wow faces, whatever you wanna do. Don't commit to me, commit to yourself. Type, I am ready, whether it's on the live or on the replay. And again, you have to understand that again, Instagram is best for number one, socially selling through your Instagram story, and number two, product pushing. Facebook is best for your reality TV show, showing people what it is about with your life, and then creating curiosity. That's what it's for. And then LinkedIn is number one, it's best for business-minded leads, and number two, creating more business residual income growth. So you have to have a balance between all of them. Guys, I want each and every one of you to succeed, but I'm gonna meet you guys where you are, and if you're gonna use these other platforms, you gotta use them for why they're out there. And make sure that you're listening to the right people. I'm not telling you that I know more than everybody else, but I'm just a stat guy. I, I read articles, I read blogs, I see what's going on. When company, when network marketing companies start coming out with a way where you can grab some pre-made content that you can then share on social media, they've just gotten lazy. And if everyone's sharing the same stuff, how authentic and genuine is that? LinkedIn's where you have your own voice. So make sure that you have that diversity in your business where you have consumers and builders, but make sure you're really taking advantage of these, these platforms to your fullest capability. So guys, I hope this shed some light. I hope this helped. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday. Love and gratitude to each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.